Hi there, my name is Don, and I wanted to order one of these boards uh, from uh, DIYEboard.com. Actually, the guy's name is Jason. I could I wanted, I wanted to find a video, and I couldn't find one, so that's what this is for. And so I emailed the guy, and I was like, hey, should I trust you? He said, this thing has some of the best boards in the world, and that I should totally trust him. So and I uh, went ahead and placed an order. Um, and I, played, I ordered a complete board, but he, he said, he sent another email saying that I would get it sooner if I got it in pieces and assembled it myself. So, and he sent extra parts like uh, belts and an extra remote and stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. So I placed my order last Monday and this is the following Wednesday. Uh, yesterday it said that it should be here today. So, so first when I got the email, I, it had a delivery date of last Friday, um, but he sent another email that explained that it had to come from customs first and then it would start updating. And so it was on a ship or a boat or a freaking pigeon or whatever, I don't know, from China to uh, Hawthorne is what it said. And now yesterday it said it was, it left Bloomington, California, and it should be here today. So I'm gonna check the, I'm gonna check here, uh, um, let's see, it says that it is on the vehicle for delivery, so I should be getting it today. Awesome, so I'll let you know and I'll do the uh, the unboxing thing or whatever. Okay, and there it is, it did come. It's a package here, shimp, uh, left on the doorstep. Took, uh, I guess, uh, nine days from ordering, so and now we'll open it up. And so then the board. Okay, everything is wrapped up in uh, in uh, foam. So we have trucks and trucks. It's gonna be your skateboard, right? Is there one for me? You can share with me. No. Trucks. Okay, this must be the battery. You see some foam pads, uh, street wheels. The AT wheels on the trucks. We have a bag of screws. Like a charging cord. What, mini, mini, mini USB or whatever. Oh, this is the ESC. So this must be the battery here. It's heavy, like a battery. Uh, this is the remote. And then it's also in the same phone as the extra remote that he said. Charging for the board. Extra uh, belts. Um, um, looks like bearings, wires. So uh, next time I'll start putting it together. Okay, so um, okay, so uh, if there's no instructions in there at all, and there's no like tool. So it looks like everything is going to be a three eighths, and then there's an Allen key. So I, I think I have what I need to put it together. Um, and then under closer inspection, this isn't just a matter of the extra belts, but there's also. This is like the, looks like it's part of the conversion kit for the street kit, but there's also this wire here that must be involved, and also a bunch of screws and bolts. So I'm gonna pull those out of there, and I think I have everything I need to assemble the board here on this table. And I've kind of put it all where I think it goes. They also gave three, three of these pads for both the battery and the ESC. So I'm, I, you, you know, you can always add another pad. So I think I'm just going to start with one pad, and then if it's, uh, if it vibrates or whatever, I'll take, you know, I'll take it off and add another pad or whatever. So let's go ahead, I think, and put some trucks on the board first. So also look at the board. If you look, it's got, it has the handle cut out here. It has uh, screw holes already drilled out. This looks like a hole for wires to go in, and this across the top of the board looks like the wire runs this way across the top. So. Um, I, there should be instructions and there should be a, a skate tool, so uh, um, I'm going to see what I can do here though. So I talked to Jason, the guy, emailed me back saying that the, uh, it would be more expensive, it would push the weight of the package if you included a skate tool, so that's why it wasn't included, but he gave me a good old, you can do it, 
So I, I went at it, um, but uh, actually I don't, did not have the tools that I needed here. Always have the tools you need. So um, I get a bigger toolbox later. Um, these, there you go. See, so yeah, the problem here was that the Allen key wasn't big enough. Um, it was just slightly smaller. So there you see, I've got a big old toolbox there to my right and I'm putting these on. So he said that he did send, he sent extra of those. He said only to use one of them and then if I need to remove it and replace the battery or anything later on, then that's what the extras were for. So you see you cut around the edge there to expose the adhesive part and then place it on the encasement itself. Um, and you cut a hole for the, where the wires to go out um, and uh, and those wires are going to feed up through the hole here um, and then across over the top to the uh, ESC so um, which I'll get to later on so yep so it's a 3 8 inch driver you want to have a deep socket driver um, because it's hard to get down there uh, so you need to have a deep socket driver and then it was a number three Allen key I'm not exactly sure what that means but number three was written on the one that I used so anyway um, there you go, I'm tightening it up. I probably should have put the uh, grip tape on first. Uh, so, I don't know, noob mistake. I'm just a rookie. Um, there's my son playing with it. So, yeah, it was pretty uh, pretty simple. The hardest part, I think, was getting the uh, wires to all fit inside the casing for the ESC um, cleanly and then have it be nice and tight in the uh, little canal that they have carved. Um, but really that was, uh, that was pretty, uh, it was pretty easy to put together once, once I just got into it and started putting it there. I am trying to figure out which way this goes. I referenced a picture that he sent me, uh, and that helped quite a bit. Um, and then, uh, yeah, see, so just trying to figure out which, how to get it on there. Um, and then, yeah, the, the holes are all cut. They're all drilled. So everything's already prepared for you. It was really easy, but again, like I said, I wish I would have waited. So now I'm gonna have to take the grip tape off, or I mean, made the grip tape with holes in it. Uh, so now I gotta take the grip tape off to uh, to fix anything when it goes wrong. But nothing's gone wrong. It's been working pretty good. So, so you put the um, the Allen, which is the three millimeter Allen, on the one end, and then you have the three eighths driver on the back side. So you're just getting them just as tight and snug. Like I said, you need that deep socket driver in order to get down far enough um, to get it tight. And then you can see that there's the canal going across the top of it that the wire goes through. Uh, it's kind of a longer wire, so it goes through each hole. It connects from the, um, the battery on one end to the ESC on the other end. And then there is some excessive wire that, like I said, was a little tight getting into that ESC, but I uh, got it all in there. All these screws are cut in the right place, um, so everything's already prepared for you. Just got to line it up, um, get it all screwed in nice and tight. Um, and so basically that's it. You put the trucks on without the risers. You uh, use one pad for both the ESC and for the battery. You cut a hole for the wires to come out, then cut around the pad so it's just the edge has the adhesive. Put it on its pad, the pad, it's, uh, the pad on the encasement itself. Then use a three millimeter Allen and a deep socket three eighths. And if you have a three year old, it helps. And, uh, and then, yeah, I would have put the grip tape on um, first and then screwed it, but... And then it's done. Okay, we poppin' champagne, poppin', poppin' champagne. I, I am the perfect, I am the perfect. Okay, we poppin' champagne, poppin', poppin' champagne. I, I am the perfect, I am the perfect. This is going to be my first time riding it all the way to work, which is, I don't know, like five miles or something. I've and it's seven o'clock now and work starts at eight. Usually I take the bus and get there about 7.45, but we'll, so we'll see if we can beat that. Okay, so uh, I have to carry my lunch bag and drive this thing, you know, so I, I uh, can't get a lot of footage, but this hill over here that I'm about to go up, you can't even see it, is Miracle Mile. We'll see if it handles it. So, I made it to work. I made it on time, um, but uh, I learned some things. Um, it, it was a blast. It was a blast. It was, uh, so I made it the same amount of time that I would have taken the bus, even with all the issues I ran into, and it was more fun, and I saved a buck fifty, so these are all good things. 
Um, but there were some issues like uh, Miracle Mile is a big, big hill and I wanted to see if it could do it and it did like half of it. It did like half of it and then it just uh, kaputted and it was kind of off and on kaput for the whole rest of it. But I got to get to work. give a, a quick review um, I, it's been a while I've got a beard down and so things are awesome it goes I, I've got I've, things got this is this is the controller that I send you um, it uh, I just wrote it in here um, it has uh, four speeds on it see it's in speed two that's pretty much what I speed two is what I cruise in um, and it goes like at 16 miles an hour I've gotten it to go up to 22 in speed in the third speed um, but I haven't gotten gone beyond that because I'm scared and I don't have a helmet um, so um, It takes any hill I throw at it. I've taken it. I, I take it to taking it to work I've taken it to church and back a bunch of times um, It's a uh, it's a beast It's fast. It's quick. It, it goes over every curb. It goes up every hill um, I took it up Miracle Mile. It's this big hill in town um, and it, it like Halfway up it, but this is a big big long steep hill Miracle Mile <laughs> Um, so I gave it a rest. Uh, it does have, uh, from time to time, this, like the cover for this motor, comes off this way and then it won't turn. And then I, I've been taking like a towel and putting it there and then a hammer and like lightly tapping it and it goes in and then it can go. Uh, that's it. Oh, and then uh, these wires here, these wires here, bloop, bloop, um, were too close to the motor and it was hot. And so they melted a little bit, so I just pushed them down there. I tried to tape them, but the tape fell off. But I just pushed them down to keep it away. Um, yeah, everyone tells me how badass this thing is. And it is, it is badass. It's badass. Um, and super fun. So anyway, highly recommend this. Uh, and the Jason, the guy at, um, at the DIY eBoard has been, communicates very well. Um, I told him about the whole motor. Uh, issue and he said to make a video and send it to him and then the diagnostics team but I just haven't taken time to do that look I, I grew a beard making this video so um, anyway I, it's an awesome board I, I, I recommend it uh, it's like a, a way to get a, a better board for less money um, is to get one of these kits um, so uh, yeah I couldn't I, I mean for the whatever it ended up being 700 bucks or whatever i couldn't have gotten a board like this if i didn't if i didn't put some effort into it and build it myself and then it feels more like mine you know like i built it and if anything goes wrong i feel more familiar with it so i'll be able to fix it i don't have to just mail it in to somebody to have them fix it so anyway um that's it i just want to check in
to say one more thing. Like, it's just so fun. And, and I look for like any, any excuse to take the board to where, like I, I have the option to drive to church, but I take the board to church. The other day, coming back right at sunset and I'm just cruising along on this thing, you just feel the wind and you're just looking at the sunset and you, I, I had music going and it just, it just feels so good. And you could just, you're just carving and, and um, yeah, it's just awesome. Um, if you're thinking about getting one of these, I mean, I've saved gas, saved on gas, I've saved on, I mean, I've saved on time, and I, I've taken it to work just, you know, I, I just shooting through like, walk under the trees, just woof, 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 and, and um, it just, the cracks are like nothing to it with these, with these mountain, you know, these monster tires on there, the cracks are nothing. I got no, no worries at all, uh, but it's just awesome. If you're thinking about getting one of these, I totally recommend getting one because it's a mode of transportation, it's a blast, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a good investment. And you'll get your, you'll, it'll, it'll pay for itself, I would think, in the gas that you're saving. Um, and uh, yeah, anyway, again, have a good day. Bye.